Well, a weak disturbance in the western Gulf that's been pushing in over the last 24 hours. A uh, bit of it's still out there, but you can see a pretty good wave coming across the valley today. Go a little bit closer, and this is just satellite. But boy, it started clear early, and then the clouds really built up and triggered some pretty good rain again in parts of the valley. Not widespread, but it's out there. This is what radar looks like now. And most of the valley has gone quiet, although we saw some showers this morning across Cameron and Willacy County, a little bit in Hidalgo County, then big stuff in the middle of Star County. But that's probably about it. Here's what's left. Falcon Lake seeing some pretty good rainfall today just to the west of the lake. That should run into Falcon and then some more stuff off to the north from there. Now, let's come back to the rest of the valley. Look at future track and it says clouds stick around much of the night and then tomorrow spotty showers again. Probably not as active as today, but there'll be a little bit of action around. Let's go forward another day and see how things go as we go into uh, all the way into Sunday. You still don't see much. Just look at it isolated stuff. I think Sunday is a partly cloudy day, but isolated showers are possible. We're holding at 30% tomorrow, but then we go 10 for Sunday and Monday. It's one of those things where the moisture is kind of hanging out and it's going to be tough to completely get it out of here. So each of the next several days, there'll be at least that 5 to 10% chance of a shower or two. But look at these numbers. Low 80s, upper 70s for early July. That is actually pretty cool. This is 15 degrees below the normal highs. Now, we did warm up temporarily, but then the rain started. Most areas cooled off. It's also rather humid, with the exception of McAllen's dew point at 68. All the dew points are in the 70s right now, so you put that on the muggy meter. There you are up at 73, so we're still in that very humid range. That probably won't change if anything can go up. Look at tomorrow, back in the 90s again, but if you get caught under one of those showers, your temperatures will drop into the 80s, maybe even into the upper 70s briefly, but aside from that, still a very warm day across the region. 95 is the norm. We should be a little below that tomorrow, but as that rain chance goes down, High temperatures will go back up. We're not going to threaten the records, I don't think, anytime soon, but we'll be back above normal relatively quickly. If you're traveling tomorrow, headed northward to San Antonio, you start the day there at 77 degrees. These are 7 a.m. readings, as you can see up here. Dallas is 78 with sunshine. Houston, 76 in the morning. Spotty showers down here with 76 degrees to start the day. By the time we get to the afternoon, we're pushing 90 in Brownsville. San Antonio, sunshine, 94. Midland, 92. If you're headed to Amarillo, it's warmer there than it is here. 94 tomorrow afternoon in the Panhandle, while Dallas tops out at around 92. So for us, for tonight, uh, those spotty evening showers in the process of fading as we speak, mainly far west. Then we turn partly cloudy. The low tonight should be around 75 degrees. Southeasterly winds at about 3 to 8. And then tomorrow, like today, spotty showers, maybe a thunderstorm. Could be heavy in spots, but for the most part, most of us miss out on that. We'll more see sun than anything else, but a few spots may pick up that brief shower or thunder shower. So a few showers around tomorrow, less activity on Sunday and Monday. Even next week, we're now going mainly dry because the moisture refused to, refuses to take the boot and get out of here. Instead, we see spotty showers all the way in to the middle part of the week with high temperatures staying in the mid-90s. That is your updated First 1-5 forecast.